So I'm on the campaign trail. And um, I'm cruising along it. But uh, well, I shouldn't be cruising on it. I guess Cruz is no longer on the campaign trail. He got trumped while he was campaigning on the campaign trail. So I'm campaigning on the campaign trail. And I'm having some champagne on the campaign trail. So, what am I campaigning for? Well, I'm going to campaign for world peace, um, global power, equality and justice for everybody, and everything else that I can't really, really promise. <clears throat> but I'll promise anyway. Why? Well, because I'm on the campaign trail. <laughs> and I'm campaigning for that. <clears throat> so... You know, I've never actually seen the campaign trail. Usually I see a trail of people uh, behind someone else's campaign. So they're on the campaign trail, on the coattails of someone who's campaigning on the campaign trail. But the campaigner himself or herself is really not on a campaign trail. I've never seen him trailing. Well, I've seen, I've seen campaigners trailing in the polls and trailing on campaign trails. But I've never seen a campaign trail. I see them just campaigning um, in various places, but never an actual, like, physical mountain trail. Never see that, do you? So it's a misnomer. <clears throat> there is no campaign trail. There's just a campaign. And I think there needs to be a campaign to make a campaign, a campaign trail. It's a strange word, campaign. Anyway, so I think there needs to be a, <clears throat> a global campaign to create a, a trail for which campaigners can trail upon. Uh, and preferably they can make it in the mountains, anywhere away from BC. And um, so I think we should uh, all get out there and vote to create a campaign trail. Just don't be caught in the trail of making the campaign trail. So then once you make a campaign trail, then people can properly campaign on the campaign trail. And uh, then you need to make up your mind who to vote for once that campaign trail has been built. And uh, while you're at it, once you're done with the campaign trail, just have a party. You know, have a big party on the campaign trail. Um, what kind of party? Well, it can be a Republican party, it can be a Democrat party, it can be the Green Party, preferably. Why? Because you built a campaign trail in nature, in the mountains, probably by the people who belong to the Green Party. So, the campaign trail belongs to the Green Party. I'm sorry. It just does. And it's probably a straight trail. Probably doesn't curve to the left or to the right. It's probably just a straight trail courtesy of the Green Party. Now, if you remember the Libertarian Party, your liberty to hike the campaign trail uh, <clears throat> because you're Libertarians and you're free and uh, you might as well join hands with the, the Green Party people, the tree huggers, or in this camp, uh, campaign, in this case on the campaign, they're campaign huggers on the campaign trail for a more what? More green uh, environment in which to vote. So, if you're a Republican, bring an elephant on the campaign trail. If you're a Democrat, well, feel free to bring your uh, ass along on the campaign trail. Uh, we covered the greens. Bring some greens along the campaign trail, preferably spinach or broccoli. Uh, libertarians, you're free to bring whatever you want to bring. Uh, independence? Well, you're free to roam on the campaign trail independently of, of the other parties. Okay? So, let's be clear on that. You have the independence in which to do that. So, actually the campaign trail is for all parties. Regardless of which party you belong to. Uh, it's a trail for all parties. And I'm going to campaign for that. So, um, I'm running for office. Please vote for me. 
Um, I'm the one that designed the campaign trail in my head first. And uh, now I'm sharing it all with you, my ideas about how to campaign properly for a campaign trail. So please vote for me, <clears throat> Mr. Campaign. I promise you endless campaign trails, probably leading to nowhere, which most campaigns usually do. <laughs>